this tutorial, I'll be teaching you about the indefinite for loop in C++. The indefinite for loop is basically a for loop, except you take out the parameters, and then uh, it, you run it, and it won't stop until you tell it to. So it's like, in the programs, it's like, uh, would you like to enter another number, yes or no? Basically, that's how you do it. So to learn this, um, we'll be making a program. So this program will ask the user to enter some numbers and we will calculate the average. So we start by declaring some variables. So let's make double er, value, set that to zero. That's where the user's uh, number will go into. Uh, we use a decimal in the assignment part because it's double value. You don't really need to, but you know, it's better. Double. Total, make that total. Set that to zero. That's where all the numbers will be added together. And then we have integer. Let's make it um, number. That stores how many times the user entered the number, so we know how much to divide it by. And then we have a character. So this is going to end the program, so we're going to name it n. Set that to n. We're going to use single quotes because that's the way we need to do it. And then we're going to write our indefinite for loop. So to do that, we just put four, and then we put just two semicolons in here, because that used to be, you know, the variable. That used to be parameter. That used to be um, the incrementation. So we need to leave those semicolons in there. So otherwise, it won't work. So you can also do this. Like you can leave one thing in here. You can leave the parameter in there and have take everything else out. But you know, we're not going to do that. So just remember, you need to leave those semicolons in there, curly brace, and then we're going to prompt the user to enter a num number. We're going to input that number into value, and now we're going to add that to our total. So total plus equals value. So that'll make total equal to total plus value. And then we're going to increment number by 1, so we know that we've already entered a number. And now we're going to ask the user, do you want to enter another number? into that end, so we'll have that value into our end variable, and now we have an if statement, put two parentheses because we're going to need that, and we're going to put end equals, so if end equals n, or end equals uppercase n. So if that's it, we break, so that just exits from the for loop. That's all the breaks thing does. And then we close that. So once the user has put n, so it'll break out of that for loop, and then it'll return to the code just under it. So here we're going to calculate the average. So we're going to take C out. So that'll show how many numbers they entered. Values you have entered is and now we take total and we divide it by number. Wait, actually no, I'm gonna do yeah, total divided by number. So now let's try this program, try it out, should work, so, yep, so here, enter a number, put in one, one, enter another number, yes, enter number two, yes, and then three, so three, now do you want to
to enter a number. No, I don't want to enter in a number, another number. So it'll break out of that loop. And then the average of the three values you've entered, 1, 2, 3, is 2. So 1 plus 2 plus 3, that's 6. Divided by 3 is 2. So yeah, that worked perfectly. And um, that concludes the tutorial. If you like this video, please subscribe. Thanks for watching.